Imagine converting a skin cell to a liver cell or a brain cell in an effort to combat disease. Rudolf Janisch did. What makes a fertilized egg to develop into a complex organism? What drives it? I have been interested in generating some of the technology which could help us to understand this. If you would take a patient's skin cell and put the nucleus into a human egg, you could reprogram the skin nucleus, generate an early embryo, and a patient-specific embryonic stem cell. But finding answers required an approach that did not rely on using human eggs. It was clear to me and to many others in the field, we have to learn the reprogramming without the help from an egg. Janisch and two other labs demonstrated they were able to create stem-like cells from mice, called iPS cells. They're really indistinguishable from embryonic stem cells. It's just launched an explosion in the field. And then a few months later, it was shown that it works also in human cells. Later that year, Janisch's lab built on this achievement with the first proof in principle that these cells had therapeutic potential. So one of the goals of this type of research is to make customized cells for tissue repair. Today, Janisch is using patient-derived iPS cells to study such complex diseases as Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. If you look at a problem and you, and you just make a hypothesis, what could this problem be? How could you approach this problem? Either refute your hypothesis or confirm it, of course, that's what you would like to do. Um, but very often you refute it because that's what science is about. 